activate Fluffy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Fluffy Wonders. Land ho! Treasure first mate, Debo. <laughs> I love playing pirates. Yar, me too. What is it, Debo? <laughs> Whoa! Wow! It's a treasure map. Hmm, I wonder. How do you find buried treasure? I can help. X is where the treasure is buried. So cool! But how do we get to the X? First, we need to figure out where we are. Do you see anything you recognize from the map? Hey! That elephant-shaped rock looks just like the one on the map. Now you see those dashes? According to the map scale, each dash is equal to one step. Hmm, there's five dashes, so that's five steps. Right! Huh? And according to my compass watch, we need to walk five steps north, which is this way. One, two, three, four, five. The map says we need to climb up the tree. How are we going to do that? Look, a rope ladder. Nice work, first mate Debo. Treasure, here we come! Whoa! A secret door! But how do we open it? Hmm, this hopscotch grid is on the map. <gasps> I've got it! Blippi, try hopping only on the blue squares. All right! We did it! Let's go! Whee! Whoa! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Huh? X marks the spot! <laughs> Woohoo! We found the treasure! And I got the answer to my question. How do you find buried treasure? To find buried treasure, you need a map. And to follow the directions written on it to find the X. Upload answer, Debo. Let's see what's inside. The great big book of curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Were they? Let's go find out. <laughs> wow, look at those birds. Oh, wow, look at all these animals we're finding. Maybe we'll find the king of the jungle next. That's not the king of the jungle. King of the jungle? Wait, are, are you looking for a lion? Well, there's not really any lions in the jungle. You gotta go to the savannah for that. Out there! Hmm, I wonder. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! Lion! Cool! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Tabs. Hello, Blippi and Tabs. I'm Jabari, the king of the jungle. I was just sharpening my kingly skills on the lion obstacle course. The lion obstacle course? That's so cool. Would you like to train with me? If you complete the course, I'll make you honorary lions. Yeah! <laughs> 
Our first lesson is here, where you will learn to sneak like a lion. Sneak like a lion. Got it. Shh. Not so loud, Blippi. You will scare off the prey. The prey? The prey is the butterfly. Oh, I get it. Sneaky. <laughs> Not bad for a first try. Yeah! Let's try the next lesson. Jumping! Crouch down and feel your energy. Then, when you are ready, release the energy and jump! Are you ready, Tabs? Jump like a lion! Yes! Great job! Now there's one more lesson. Hop on my back and hang on tight! Yay! Ooh. Welcome to the Roaring Arena! To roar like a lion, follow along. First, find your power. Lift up and roar! Way to go, Blippi and Tabs! You are now honorary lions. Thanks, Jabari. We had so much fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Even though lions are called king of the jungle, they actually live on the savanna. Lions are sneaky hunters, big jumpers, and have really loud roars. Upload answer tabs. See you next time we're in the savanna, Jabari. Goodbye, Blippi and Tabs. Come back and roar with me anytime. Sorry, Tabs. I was just making a T-Rex shadow puppet with my hand. Aw, what a tiny dinosaur. Hmm. I wonder, what was the smallest dinosaur? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go back in time and find out. Going back in time! Whoa! We traveled 125 million years into the past, Tabs. Whoa! A dinosaur! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Tabs. You wouldn't happen to be the smallest dinosaur, would you? Oh, phew. I thought you were a scary dinosaur. <laughs> I'm Seamus. This is just my head. I'm stuck again. Never fear! Mina is here! Howdy. I'm Mina the Microraptor. Why do you say we try to dig my friend Seamus out? I might be only one foot tall, but I'm pretty strong. I've got an idea. Be back in a jiffy! Coconut shovels? What a great idea! Lucky for us, my four wings help me fly up there extra fast. <laughs> oh no! My coconut shovel broke. Mine too. Are you able to move, Seamus? <laughs> well, you did your best, but I guess I live here now. Maybe if we had something slippery, we could pull you out. Hey, I know a cave filled with super slippery slime! This way! Whoa, this hole is super tiny. Are you sure you can fit? Never fear, Mina is here! Be right back! Uh oh. Whoa! Are you okay? I got the slime! Yeah! <laughs> oh! I can't believe it! I'm free! Hooray! We did it! than that. Wait, Microraptors are the smallest dinosaurs? We sure are, and we roar like this. Roar! Ah, scary dinosaurs, run for your life! <laughs> <laughs> for 
Roche's friends sure are fun. And I got the answer to my question. What was the smallest dinosaur? The smallest dinosaur was the Microraptor. Microraptors are only one foot tall, have four wings, and lived 125 million years ago. Upload answer tabs. See you later, Blippi! Buh bye Mina! <laughs> Whoa! What a beautiful day! Blippi, did you know that today is Earth Day? I didn't! Hmm, I wonder. How do you celebrate Earth Day? Let's sing a song and find out! Look at what it's worth to live on planet Earth. It's the place that we call home. Yeah, it's pretty great! We're the buzzing of the bees. The wind blowing through the trees It's the place that we call home And, and we, we must protect, protect it So the plants can grow So Blippi, what can we do to help the Earth? I'm glad you asked, actually Hit it! Instead of throwing this away We can make it into a house Where a bird can stay Tweet, tweet, little birdie Here's a new home for you. <laughs> Wait! Before you throw that in the trash, give it to me, and in a flash, I'll, I'll fix, fix it up for you. It's brand new. Helping Earth is what we have to do. And it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the Planet Earth party. It's the Planet Earth party. <laughs> What other things can we do to protect the Earth? We can sort the trash into different bins. Bottles, cans, and cardboard. Yeah, throw them in. Sort them out. Recycling is what it's all about. Woohoo! Don't forget the buzzy, buzzy bees. We need them to pollinate the flowers, don't you see? So the plants can grow. Come on, little bees, this way. <laughs> when it's the home for you, What are you doing, Mika? I'm planting a tree. See, the world is full of plants, flowers, and trees. Yeah. The plants help the earth breathe. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me, planet Earth is the place to be. Is it, Blippi? Exactly! We share our home with so many different animals. And we need to keep the Earth healthy and happy so all the animals can be happy and healthy, too. From the elephants on the savanna to the polar bears at the North Pole the monkeys in the jungle Yeah, we all call the Earth our home when it's the home for you. We call home. Uh, it's so hot. I wish we had a cool treat to cool down. <laughs> That's a great idea, Debo. We'll get popsicles to beat the heat. I wonder. What's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? It's hard to see what's wrong. We'll need to shrink down to get a better look. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is not ready for adventure, but we are. Wow, the inside of the Blippi Mobile looks so cool! But how will we ever figure out how to fix it? 
Do I hear someone in need of help fixing something? Hi, I'm Wonky the Rich, at your service for any and all repairs. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Mika and Debo. Wonky, will you help us figure out what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? Hey, you bet. Here are some things we should check. First up, make sure the bolts are tight. There are a lot of bolts down here. I know just the wrench to tighten them. <laughs> Those are some sweet moves, Wonky. Ooh, I tell you what, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! 10 out of 10. That one's tightened. <laughs> hey, Debo. It's righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yeah. Next up, let's make sure all the switches are on. This way. Oh no! Whoopsie! Ooh. Now let's check out the gears. Woohoo! Woo Think the gears are supposed to move. Hey, there's a toy in the gear. Is that your toy, Debo? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm on it. <sighs> Dead gummit, it's not working. We can help. <laughs> it works! Yeah! Oh, now this is the best part of fixing things, when it's all fixed. And I got the answer to my question. The Blippi Mobile wasn't working because there was a toy stuck in the gears. But now, the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Upload answer, Debo. I'm here anytime you need a helping wrench. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye bye Growing up! Yeah. Now who's ready for a popsicle? Me! <laughs> Whoa! Look at that massive skyscraper with a crane next to it. Right, Debo? I think it is helping build the building. Hmm, I wonder, how does a crane help build a building? Great idea! We'll go talk to the crane! I'm gonna need a grabber arm and extendo legs! Grabber arm, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Extendo legs up! Whoa! Hi, um, are you here to help me? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Sure, I'll help. What's your name? It's Kareem, Kareem the Crane. It's my first big job today. I'm kind of nervous. I get it. Trying new things makes me nervous sometimes, too. We'll help you any way we can. <laughs> I spin my mast, my tall body around, and then I extend my jib down. The jib is my long arm. Now I can use my hook to pick up these really heavy bricks. Whoa! I can't stop it swinging! Gotcha. Oh, thanks, Blippi. I'm still learning, but I'll figure this out. Now you can help me with the roof. It's that big glass square down there. Glass is very fragile. You got this. I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Now, take it up, Kareem. Oh, goodness. Look out below! Huh? Got it! Now let's finish the job! <laughs> yeah! Isn't 
helping Kareem so fun? <laughs> hey, we did it! And now I know the answer to my question. How does a crane help build a building? Cranes lift heavy materials so they can be used to construct super tall buildings. Upload answer, Debo. Yes. Thanks for everything, Blippi. Bye. Bye, Kareem. I knew you'd be an amazing crane. Wow, that bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down! You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. <laughs> Gotta chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha, 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 I rhymed again. <laughs> <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. <sighs> the nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honey. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear! This may look funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa! Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Those ducks floating in that pond. Exactly, Debo. There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea. Let's go ask that one. I'm gonna need duck feet and wings. Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Here, ducky, ducky! Here, little ducky! Whoa! Big ducky! Hang on, Debo! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo! I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond! You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, a, a stuck stew paddle with our feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. 
Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right, we have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. It's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. See you again. We make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa! Is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon. Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry, we have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So, ducks float. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Whoa! Look! A bird flying at night! Huh, it's a bat! Hmm, I wonder, how do bats fly in the dark? Good idea, Debo! Let's take flight in the night! I'm going to need wings and spider legs! Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Whose lights are those? Hey! It's me, Blippi! I put my bright headlights on to find you! Oh, hey, Blippi! I'm Matt the Bat! I was just heading out to fly my favorite flying course. You want to join me? Sure! I was wondering how bats fly in the dark! I can show you! But one thing, Blippi, no headlights. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, it's so dark. Twigs, Roach, look out! Whoa! Blippi, didn't you hear that tree? No, I didn't. Wait, did you say hear the tree? Yeah, I can hear everything in my way. Heads up! Rocks! Whoa! How do you do that? Bats have a special skill called echolocation. I make sounds and they bounce off objects and echo so I can tell where the objects are and how far away I am from them. Really, Debo? You have echolocation too because you're a robot dog? <laughs> well, let's use it. Whoa! Let's fly! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whee! <sighs> nice flying, guys. Thanks! And I have the answer to my question. How do bats fly in the dark? Echolocation! Bats make high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects and echo, so they can safely hear where they're at in the dark. Upload answer, Debo. Oh, look, it's bedtime. Fun flying with you, Blippi and Debo. Uh, uh, uh. You sleep upside down? Whoa, bats are amazing. Bye-bye, Matt the Bat. Wow, that's a pretty tall mountain. I'm sure there are way taller mountains, Tabs. Hmm, I wonder, what's the tallest mountain in the world? 
great idea, Tabs. We'll go to the Himalayas and find out. I'm going to need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find the tallest mountain in the world. Woohoo! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're looking for the tallest mountain. I'm climbing it right now. Hi, I'm Betty the Yeti. Yeti. I was just headed to the top. That's where the best snow is. <laughs> Nothing worse than old snow. <laughs> Can I tag along? I want to see what it's like on top of the tallest mountain. Of course, but get ready. This mountain is super tall. We're up so high, and it's much colder up here. Thanks, Tabs. I love hot cocoa. Whoa! That was a close one. Hey, it's the mountain top. Yeah, we made it. Oh, whoa, it's so windy up here. I got you, Blippi. So what is the name of this mountain? It's Tamalangma. Oh, you call it Mount Everest. You're right, Tabs. I have the answer to my question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest. It's 29,035 feet tall. Upload answer tabs. And the snow up here is delicious. <laughs> snow burps. <laughs> Have a good snow snack. Bye, Betty the Yeti. Bye, Flippy. 